Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we have one awesome concept and uh, you can say a, a development of a, of a process uh, which automatically send emails to the customers with file attachments through Excel and it will use your Microsoft Outlook. So we have uh, developed uh, a macro uh, which will definitely uh, give you an easiness uh, to send uh, multiple email addresses with attachments with just one click and it's very easy and uh, it's it's a complete tutorial i will explain each point uh, whichever is necessary and uh, this file will be available to you if you are watching this video on our youtube channel excel basement so you can uh, download this file from the description or if you are watching this on our facebook channel or through on our website so you can see the comment area uh, you will have that link of download and then you can uh, modify this file with your own customized requirements all right so this process which we uh, design uh, we designed for one of our client and now we are giving this template absolutely free to our all the members and the visitors who come to our excel basement platform uh, we have made this template as a general template and, and we are making it uh, available to everyone as a public template now so this template is called uh, you can send multiple emails automatically to the customers or the clients uh, with file attachments which are in your specific folder uh, through this Excel where uh, we have designed a macro and uh, Microsoft Outlook will be necessary here uh, to send the emails okay now in this particular template we have this main sheet which is called email okay so after doing all the settings here we will click on send emails button but before that we need to do some working and I, I am also adding one more awesome technique here to that how to get a list of files from a folder within Excel. So I have I, I will explain you a, a very good technique here and you can learn it. So let's say you have a folder in your specific hard drive. So I have created a folder name emails. The name could be anything, right? And the drive could be anything so in this example uh, you can see that the drive letter is D and the folder name is emails so I have kept it very short so that you can understand in the video but in the real time at your uh, end it could be a different drive letter and, and a different path so what you can do is just click on this bar and uh, copy the path okay and uh, go to the Excel file right and uh, i will just copy this path in this cell a1 now this thing uh, you don't need to do again and again but just to give you and make you learn this uh, awesome technique i am doing uh, from the very start so that you can understand every point each point okay but once you are done uh, with this concept to get all the file names from a folder instead of writing it manually because we know that in a folder there could be uh, hundreds and thousands of files and you have a lot of clients or customers and, and you you will definitely not write all the file names manually right so definitely you need a technique to get all the file names from a list from a folder automatically so that's why i am teaching you this process okay so we just copy the path or the location in the cell a1 and then the next thing we need to do is we need to add a uh, uh, one more thing which is backslash and static okay and uh, in the folder if you see there are four files there are four pdf files now it could be pdf files or excel files word files any kind of files uh, sorted accordingly okay and uh, as I told you that this video is also considered some of the assumptions. So I, I will also share what are those assumptions is. But at this point of time, we have 
a folder that is called emails and we have four files 001.pdf then 002.pdf and so on so there are only four files because in this video i am just demonstrating with the four of the clients uh, whereas it could be 100 here it could be 1000 files here doesn't matter uh, the things will remain the same right so we need all the four file names here and the first step was that to copy the location or path and to add backslash and static as well so static will definitely find uh, basically it will help uh, the formula to de to define an array and get all the names uh, accordingly in in this column uh, e okay now the second step after doing this thing in cell a1 the next step will be go to formulas and in the define names group click on name manager and click new so first define a new name for this name range so that could be anything for example files name list okay and in the refers to field write equals to files round bracket open and at the end just close the round bracket and press ok right and uh, i will explain it that what this files formula will do but now the last part of getting all the file names from uh, from a folder as a list i will be applying if error index and raw function so i hope i don't need to explain it but i will give you a summarized way that what this specific formula is doing so equals to if error index so in the array we uh, we have just created a name range so that name range will come here files name list and then in the raw number i will add a raw function minus 2 so now why i am adding minus 2 here let me give you a logic of this as well in next few minutes i will close the bracket and uh, if error value if error is empty so now when i copy paste this uh, formula it gives me uh, all those file names of uh, pdf which are, which are available in this folder you can see here 001 002 003 004 okay so that's how it works we we just got all the file names from from a folder uh, within few minutes and this this need to be done only one time not not the every time right now let me tell you that uh, how does this work how how does this whole process work so files formula which which we uh, included in a name range here right so files formula retrieves the names of all the files of the specific extension in a specific folder and uh, in the index formula here we have given the file names as an array and we return the first second third file names and so on using the raw function now the main part is of this formula is here note that i have used raw minus 2 as we started from the third row right and as we started from the third row onwards so raw minus 2 would be 1 for the first instance right and 2 for the second instance and when the raw number is 4 and so on and so forth okay so this is the logic here all right once we get all the file names and as i told you it it is not necessary you put all the files from of the same extension it could be anything for example if salim uh, you want to send excel file to the salim kanchwala that's it um, you can send that but it should be sorted in, in that way and uh, as i told you that there are some of the assumptions now the first assumption is that there is a system and at the end of each month we need to send a, a account statement to each of the client each of the customer basically so a bank does practice at the end of each month that there are for example 10000 of customers and uh, that system that erp system or or a software generates a pdf file 
of account statement of each of the customer at the end of every month with the same file name every month. So for example, if there is 001, this means that this file, this statement name uh, belongs to Raheem. If, if 002 generates by a system as a PDF, this means that this belongs to Salim Kanchwala. And this practice done every month. So we know here as an assumption that 001 belongs to Raheem, 002 belongs to Salim. But it could be any other thing as well. The system generates a file name with a different kind of pattern. So you need a different kind of formula strategy. Uh, what we can do is in the email, we, we could define a, something, a logic called a file path and with a name in front of each of the name and email address. We can locate that. But why we are we have created this working working sheet is because we, we need to make sure that whatever the file path name here should belong to that particular person. Now, if your organization has, uh, for example, 10,000 of, uh, of customers, so you will maintain a list here of all those names accordingly and also their email addresses by just doing the VLOOKUP and that's a simple thing. And how you will get the file names. So if, if you, that particular person or employee is confident that every time 004 belongs to the Excel basement, which should be sent on Excel basement at gmail.com. But if 004 is coming in any other raw, so it should look up that particular name and email address. So I hope you got the point, a kind of an assumption that uh, you need to match the name, email address and the file name with, with a proper customer so that that particular file should be sent to that particular customer. Otherwise, uh, it could be a mismatch. Okay. So this kind of data sets are definitely available uh, with that employee and they just do the lookups on, on all these columns accordingly. Sometimes they use VLOOKUP, sometimes they use index and match. But this is the data, uh, a kind of a data sheet, which uh, an employee will maintain. And every month he will use to uh, make sure that he fill all the fields here correctly. And then he run the process for sending the emails to all the uh, multiple multiple customers at once. OK, but otherwise it, it could be a blunder from their side. Now, the other things, other points needs to be considered here that to send the emails, press send emails button at the top right side. So this is the button on which we have assigned a macro. And I will show you a macro in next few minutes. Make sure that after applying VLOOKUP, the second point here in the quick summary is that make sure that after applying VLOOKUP, you have pasted them as values before running the procedure. Now, once, once this sheet is finalized, once you are confident that this sheet has been finalized, what you need to do is the names are present here and in the email sheet, the names are also present here. So what you can do is for, for getting the email address, you need to do a VLOOKUP and we will do it in, in next few minutes. So it's, it's a simple VLOOKUP you need to do. And then also you need to create, a, you need to bring the name of the files here uh, with a proper path. So we will do as well. And it's also done with the help of if and we look up and is blank um, formulas. Okay. So it's very easy. But when we apply the formula here in the column of email address and file path, and when you are done with it, so make sure you just copy that data and paste it as values. Because if, if there is a formula here and you just press the send email buttons, it will not work for you. It should be pasted as values. Whatever the information contains in the email address and the file path column should be pasted as values. Okay. All right. Uh, so I hope till now it's all clear. Uh, the third point is that this template will work with the integration of your Microsoft Outlook and it should be open at the same time. Now we are using the Excel because Excel has made our pro made this process easier. Now, if, if we do, think about that, if we don't make this process, we have 10,000 of customers at the each of every month. If we want to send each customer a separate email 
with their separate PDF file to be attached as an account statement. Imagine if you are doing it manually, 10,000 customers, how much time it will take. So you can imagine that. And this is a repetitive kind of activity. So whatever you are doing repetitively in this 2021 on different application that can be automated and that can be innovate with the passage of time remember that so systems have the capability it's all about the leadership and the culture of that workplace that how much you do a change of your practices and the business processes right so the main thing is that now you should imagine that there are for example 100 customers and you need to send 100 of emails with a separate attachment uh, how much time it would take okay so that's why excel is is an is handy when it comes to vba so we have defined a process that on just one click either it's 10 customers 100 customers or thousands of customers just one click that's it your work is done right so if you are doing this work for next three days next three four full days consuming all the time and energy in this kind of repetitive work imagine that this work can be done within few seconds or few minutes right okay so let's proceed towards the next process what we can do is now as i told you that getting the file names was only one time activity but i made this a learning part of this video so i hope you like it and uh, now the main part comes in so we need to do some vlookups so equals to vlookup lookup value I hope everyone understand VLOOKUP, whoever watching this video, it's very simple and easy. So we got the email addresses, right? And remember that, as I told you that this is contains a function or a formula, this column, and we need to paste as values. After getting all the relevant email address according to the names, uh, we need to paste as values. So I will select these uh, range, press Control C, and then I will go to home tab and I will click on paste special as values, right? So we have made this paste values. Now the file path. So what I need to do is I need uh, first a path, for example, drive D, then backslash, folder name, emails, backslash, and then the name of the file 001.pdf now i want this and uh, second third fourth with also a file name so let me just make some addition file path and file file name okay so this is how we need to have a format so what we can do is uh, we can if we want to create a formula for this we can say that in inverted commas drive d backslash emails backslash inverted commas m percent and then we look up so look up value is the name then we will go to this particular sheet right selecting the column index number and false so you can see that this is working absolutely fine right so now as you can see here one more thing if you can observe the sequence of names here Rahim Zulfikar Salim Kanchwala Munir Nizar Excel basement right uh, but the sequence of names here is different entirely different right so this could be possible uh, because in the original sheet uh, when you paste the list of the customers the name would be anywhere but when you have this kind of a separate sheet where you're maintaining a data, so when you do the VLOOKUP, you will get exactly the same correct file name. So Excel Basement 004, uh, Salim Kanchwala will get 002 .pdf, right? So after applying the formula, you need to paste it as a values, right? So I will copy this and paste it as values. So we have done here. Okay, one more thing which you will uh, think about it that, uh, okay, we are sending the emails to these uh, people, right? But who is sending? From which email we are sending? 
that's why as i told you that excel will be using outlook and whatever the default uh, email address is set in the outlook will be automatically in the from field okay so from field will be automatically picked by macro which is set in outlook so to customize body text modify the vba macro now let's come to the vba let me show you vba so i will press alt f11 or you can go to developer tab and just uh, open the visual basic window from there so here uh, what we need to understand if you, if you need to do some modifications right so here you can see if you want to change something in the body because when we send the email there there will be some lines written in the body text so first on top it will be written dear and then it will automatically pick a name so if i am sending an email to uh, salim kanchwala so in the email it will it will be written dear salim kanchwala and i am also added one ex extra line if you have any query please contact on my below extension so this message could be anything you can customize or if you want to add one more new line just copy this one line code and paste it below it and you can add as much lines as you want or kind of a text you want to every client and then it is regards and then your signature if you want to customize so this means that you need to if you want to customize more uh, dynamic and advanced level body text you need to modify this code this these three to four line codes okay and there are a few more other things that uh, when you click on send emails a prompt window will appear uh, that will ask you if uh, what is the subject line and uh, what will be the email to put in the cc because it's a practice that in the organizations uh, you put your senior manager or any other person in the cc as well right in the cc field of that email so this is the code this is the magic code uh, this uh, which is doing all the work for you and it's it's saving your uh, number of hours into just seconds right so i'm closing this window all right so now we are all set to send the emails to all these four people and after sending the email i will show you their inbox and also the outbox of uh, of this particular uh, system as well so now we are all ready we got appropriate email address according to these names and we have also got the file paths with their file names correctly and uh, as i show you the code of vba code so in the body text uh, after the dear the name will be written whatever the name names are written in this column column b okay all right now once you are done you are required to send emails make sure that your macros are enabled okay sometimes you don't enable your macros when you don't click on content remember that whenever there are some macros in your excel file you will see a yellow uh, strip uh, or a bar in which you need to click on enable content as well so make sure your all macros are enabled in order to work and also the main thing is that make sure that your outlook is also open at the same time okay so now i will click on send emails so a prompt window is appear it says that enter a subject so the subject will be remains the same for all the uh, customers so we can say that monthly account statement okay and i press okay and again one more window prompts and it says that which email address you want to put in the cc so it it will be excelbasement@gmail.com and this will be remains the same for all the emails as well and i will press okay and as as i soon press okay i will go to the outlook and in the outlook i will click on this send and receive all and now you can see that an email has been sent to rahim.zulfikarali@gmail.com muni.nizar and uh, excel basement and now it comes to the salim kanchwala right here see this and uh, if i go to the click on any email so that it says dear salim kanchwala if you have any queries please contact on the below extension the file is the relevant file is also attached 
uh, the CC field is also filled, right? So how easy it is that on just one click, all the four different customers or people got their email addresses uh, with their account statement on just one click, right? Instead of sending all four emails manually. Now let's come to uh, Raheem dot Zulfikar Ali uh, inbox. So let me open my Gmail account and let me see if I get that in, in the inbox as well or not. So now I will refresh. All right, so my inbox is now refresh and you can see that I got the email monthly account statement and uh, let me just open this email. So who has sent this email? Raheem.zulfagarelli at live.com. So my Microsoft account is being uh, set in the Outlook. Gmail to my Gmail account and CC and uh, see that the PDF file, the statement is attached and, and the body text is also there. Super amazing, right? So in the Outlook, it's not necessary that you use Microsoft account. It could be any uh, organization account as well. It could be set and customized as well. So I hope uh, you like this file and you will use it and you can modify as your with your own customization. We have given you an idea. We have made this template available as now public. We have done a lot of hard work and smart work in this template with some few assumptions as well. So I hope you like this and you will share this video and template with your colleagues as well. Thank you so much.